Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Oh, but how am I going to see the chat? Hello, everybody. Can you see me? I have on tired because today is Jamaica Day. <laughs> and I just, um, oh, my body's here. So let me wait. All right, I'm going to wait for a few minutes and um, see if anybody joins me. Welcome, welcome. Where the chat then? I'm going to see the chat. Oh, here's a chat. I have a chat. First live chat and I wanted to jump on and um, share some memories mm, I didn't give notice as I had um, said I would but I um, just had the it was a planned I just heard that Today is Jamaica Day, and I wanted to use the opportunity to connect, you know, with my fellow Jamaicans all over and to share some good memories. You know, these are times which are hard, and boy, Jamaica don't look good right now, but we, we, we who grew up, you know, in Jamaica in the early years, although it still wasn't perfect, it was never perfect. No country is utopic or has is ever perfect, but we did have some good times growing up. If you grew up in the um, 70s or the 80s, 90s, even now, we're still having good times. We still can find some good memories in the archives, you know, of our lives about Jamaica. That makes us, when we go away, we, we, we won't come back or we just miss the food or we miss something about Jamaica. When we step in, learn, learn um, and Jamaican style for holidays or whatever, you know, is a different feeling. You know your home, you know your dear yard. So I want to... I want us to think about some of these memories, as I have a few. And um, <sighs> all right, when you and see if anybody is on the live chat or messages are visible. So, let me see. My teacher friend was just reminding me that today is Jamaica Day in the schools, and uh, for those who have been following, you know, I was a teacher. Alice, I still am a teacher, you know, you're always, always going to be a teacher. You don't stop being a teacher. You don't was a teacher. I am a teacher still, but I don't teach high school anymore, and I don't have any interest in teaching high school. But, you know, things can change anytime. In the very future, I might change my mind. But for right now, I'm not too excited about going back to teaching and high school. But one of the things I remember from my high school teaching days um, at Cumberland, which is my um, uh, my last teaching job before I took a long break, um, 11 years, you know, from teaching high school. Uh, we had a wonderful Jamaica Day program there every year. Jamaica Day was just the best man, and the kids, everybody was excited. We had children carrying in, teachers and children preparing Jamaican food. We had um, 
We have devotion, extended devotion where the children then get the band, have the band. We sing Jamaican folk songs, teachers and students alike participating. We have guests, artists, usually local um, artists or sometimes they might get somebody who is popular, which the kids which you just you know just hear the auditorium just erupting to screams, you know. It was an exciting day, man. But everything was just Jamaican day. And we have people who carry some artifacts like old time um old time things like radio, the old time radio. Um what are artifacts, old time iron, the, the cold iron, all of those things. And um we would exhibit them, you know. And then everybody, of course, you know, in Jamaica, the children wear, um, they wear the, the colors of the Jamaican flag, right? So the children get to come out of uniform and they wear their, their um, T-shirts. The little young, younger ones in primary school will get to wear their T-shirts and so on. Um, their Jamaica shirts, special shirts are, are sold around this time in the stores and downtown, you know, the vendors, they make a killing off of Jamaica Day because everybody has sell Jamaica color shirt. Everybody in the workplace today, you might see a lot of, we go into town, you might see a lot of people in black, green and gold, something with those colors, you know, celebrating Jamaica. Boy, it can be so easy to forget why we love this country. Because so much craziness going on now, you know, really terrible news, things in the news about the country and a lot of politics and divisiveness and support. But, you know, our country is special and we are reminded every year at, um, you know, when it comes to independence of this. But more than that, we, when we are on the international stage right now, I see us have a poil in Ghana and you know they, they, they welcome you as you see then when it comes time the Olympics you know our athletes make us proud there's so much we can be thankful for about why we are we are happy to be Jamaica. Jamaican food is loved everywhere the Jamaican parties Jamaican food can be found anywhere in most North American countries you're going to find a menu a restaurant selling Jamaican food and they do very well. You want to make money, you know, based on what my daughter tell me in Florida, you want to make money, man, open my Jamaican restaurant. You know, and nobody no cook food good like a we. <laughs> well, I'm a little biased when I say that, but yeah, our food is good, our food is tasty, patty, Jamaican patties, you know, are, are the best. I was watching a vlog the other day and a little young guy from Canada came on one of these vlogs, Maris time. And the little young guy, the Chinese, Filipino guy came and boy, he had parties almost every day, or two, three, four. There's a whole lot of things. The Jamaican flavors, our spices that we use, our jerk chicken, you know, all those things. But what about school days? What are your memories of school days? Which school did you, did you attend? You know, tell me in the comments and what are some of your best memories. Growing up, I grew up in St. Anne. I went to St. Anne's Bay. Well, my first school was, my first school was Salem Basic School. And oh, I, 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 my best memories are of, at that school. We had some great teachers. I remember her, Miss White and Miss Williams, Salem Basic School in St. Anne. Beautiful teachers, wonderful teachers. That's where I learned to write and read. I was reading by the time I went to primary school, let me tell you that. Nowadays, children not reading all when they were high school. We could read before we even went to primary school because we learned how to read and we were exposed to books. My family, my father and my mother well, my mother was a, they were storytellers. They were storytellers and we never had TV in the early days, in the 70s growing up. When you see them dark, we have nothing how good electric light. But, and I'm dating myself by saying that, but I was born 71, I'm not ashamed to say that. 
And those years, you know, we, we, we never had TV. Well, all we had was a little radio and we gathered around it. And them time, the Dorian Samuels and um, Alan, Alan, Dorian and Alan and Henry Stennett that died the other day. Dorian died now too, um, has died. And also, but, and what's this other Marie Gart? Never Marie Gart and um, Colgate. We have a Colgate program on Saturdays. I think it wasn't Adventist yet. Colgate, but that was our joy to listen to man. And we used to, I used to see the, the excitement could, should, would just come straight through the read. And I, I, I tend to tell people that a lot of my, my, my ability to write or my fascination with writing and my extent from my imagination, how my imagination was developed in those early years. Apart from my mother, you know, you know, and my father sitting us all eight away around them and telling us stories after stories and Nancy's story. My mother, she could remember everything from basic school. They never call it basic school, not them time, they are in a fair country. But from she was in early childhood, Three, but my mother could have recite every poem, every memory gem, every song. We learned all the songs, then we learned the memory gems. We learned, you know, all the poems. She could recite a poem with a ten stanza. I don't know how old people, all those old people could remember those things. And we can't even remember right now, you know, what, 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 what we learned five years ago. I see somebody has joined. Let me just see. Just say hi in the chat. Tell me where you're, you're joining from. Welcome. I'm here chatting to myself. I don't see nobody come, but I, it will be stored. It will be, um, this live will be saved. So somebody will see it. I will just, we just, I'm just um, recollecting some of my best Jamaican memories. I'm just talking about how when we grew up, we our imagination was fired because of the storytelling and we never had TV and, you know, how we love books. The library was our hangout space at that time. They would never have devices and those things. You know, you can leave a comment and join the conversation, you know, um, with share your best memory. Yeah, man. The library, the Senna's Bay Library, I remember going there the first time. I shot about the same week I went to Senna's Bay Primary. I found myself at the library. And that's where I discovered books. And from the day I discovered books, I went there every day. And we could borrow books and carry home. And we also had the bookmobile. You remember the bookmobile? It used to come and park up in the communities. And, um, could park in the communities and we could get books, the children could get books. You know, like now we, you know, children are not going into the library and the library not coming to children. You know, we had access to a lot of beautiful, wonderful books and we had that borrow, that loan system where you borrow, you sign up a car, the car at home, get your mother, you sign it up and what a whole lot of did, the, 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 um, the thief book, or not a thief, whoever would care about the book then. <laughs> I guess that's what probably killed the program. But, you know, a lot of people never care about books and support. But I remember caring about my books because me always want... I couldn't afford to not get, be able to get my books. I remember losing books, lending them out, and somebody didn't, you know, give it back her tear and you have a pay feet and so forth still. But people, children had access to books. You know, they had access to books. So... Yeah, just remembering those those days growing up in Jamaica. You know, we talk about the food, we talk about school life, high school, you know, walking. We never have taxis like how taxi run now. We used to have to do a whole little walking. I never come like nothing to you know, I walk one mile, you know, and two mile, you know. Because where I lived in Salem, the main road, you know, Sharkies, where Sharkies is now. And we used to walk all the way from Hampstead and Beverly. That's a good two, three miles, you know. And we did that every day. And my mother would tell her that they walk further when they were children and plus on top of it, they had to go and do several errands. 
they had to milk cow and they have to carry the milk come home. They have to carry mama had to she had to carry it. when papa her father was in the farm because she used to sleep at the farm which is some distance away from the house. She used to um used to yeah, he would have to carry food go give him before then go to school, come back and then never late. Never leave the school, she tell me. Although they did all of that and catch water and whatever errands they had to do in the house, they were never let any of them let them get a cane in. Those days they used to do some serious cane. Now my days too, we had cane in. I remember in grade six when um, we were them time they had the common entrance in um in grade six and we're doing the grade six. You could get a cane in, you know, if you remember your multiplication table. Now they're picking here. They don't know the multiplication table. They don't know what five times five is. You tell them ten times and they not, they not memor they don't want to memorize it. We had to memorize and there's a lot of talk about memorization and rote learning. But it has its place, you know. Because to this day nobody if I can recite the my twelve time table out of my head. It had its place and it, it had its value. There are some things that you have to learn. Children have to learn by memory. Memorization is a learning, is a, is a strategy that works. But it is not the best strategy for critical thinking and other things that you need. But the basic facts, you know, the basic math operations, you know, and stuff that children and anybody needs to learn. Basic rules, anytime, any rules or grammar, whatever. Nothing is wrong with children learning those basics because it stays with them. And even um, if you don't even uh, can't apply it in class immediately, ten years, five years from you know from the time you learn it, you real, realize that it's still in your brain. It went into that part of your brain that you can recall things, you know, and it stays there. So you did learn it. But we have moved away from those methods of teaching. Rote learning is not considered to be the method of teaching anymore. But on this topic of teaching, I was just telling my girlfriend this morning, Tibia, and she was um, telling me it's music day. Well, I saw on WhatsApp, she said that it's music day at school, and I was just reminded, reminded of my last Jamaica day. Um, yeah, I think it was at Anchovy High, and everybody came together, and we had a wonderful time. And I remember doing this poem, I want to say it for you, before I hop off this line. I remember doing this poem um, named Love Letter by Louise Bennett. I put on this for that. I had a, I had a, um, I had a um, costume, I put on costume and everything, you know. I loved the love, um, Louise Bennett when I was growing up her poems, you know. For those who don't know Louise Bennett, she's a Jamaican poet and actress. She is, she's dead now. But she is the woman who is um, thought to have, you know, elevated Jamaican patwa to respect or put respect on Jamaican patwa in, in, in um, international um, circles, you know, creative circles. So she lived in Canada after she left Jamaica. She lived in Canada for many years and she would um, share this part of our native culture, our language. You know, and, and so you started to see more acceptance. Well, you know, Jamaican people was very classist and we never really considered Pato to be anything until Miss Lou started making it something and making it official, you know. And she wrote a whole book, whole books of, um, whole book of poetry. I had one named Jamaica Lab, which I can't keep the find it now. We can move too much. Every time I move, I lose some book. But I had a whole book that I bought named Jamaica Lab, which and those of us who grew up in the 80s and 70s and at JBC, you remember, she had a ring ding on TV, right? She had a ring ding on TV. So we, we, we remember her every year, um, Louise Bennett Coverley, for her contribution to English literature, you know, and Jamaican English, Jamaican literature in particular, and the creative expressions, you know? So... Right, so let me move from here so let me get me a little noise. But, but yeah, I'm gonna share this poem with you. I hope you'll enjoy it. Going in my room because the little noise my landlady is talking next door. So um right. 
it's called love letter by louise bennett and uh, here Me darling love, me little dove, me dumpling, me gizada, me sweetie Sue. I goes for you like how fly goes for sugar. As I put me pen to me paper, and me pen nib start to fly, me remembrance remember, the first day you catch me eye. You did just come up a tram car. A bus was to your right. A car sweeps past your left ears and you come up deep with fright. Your jar jar, your mouth open just like when Jack Hash was yarn. My heart go puku puku and I know what I make a dead bad. <laughs> Those scan me little letter love no laugh after me yarn. Me learning not too good, but what I can spell I will draw. The thing in the corner with the freckles is my heart. And the plate of your man selfish means that we can never part. Is that a cockroach foot this? Is a finger with a ring. And it means I want to marry you. This line is a piece of string. Take it, put round the left finger. Of the left hand, careful for the right size, and give it to this man. The man is me. Now, sweet rice, keep swell while I close with love and panza X. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Let's put one part, one line. But that is the essence of Louis Bennett's poem, and um, it's a poem that is known, well known in Jamaica. Jamaican people know that poem very well. And um, open the door and go outside. Little. Wow. Yes, this is, I live in Manchester. Maybe it's in Manchester. You can see it all the way on my, on my vlog. But yes, I am happy to have shared with you today. I don't see anybody. Um, much on the line but I hope someone will see this and I want to hope and wish you all a happy Jamaica day a day where you cook up some nice ackee and saltfish uh, by the way I heard about five cases of ackee poisoning in, in, in Manchester um, recently it was on the, in the news within a couple of days ago so be careful of the ackees you're buying right we love ackees. I love ackee. I can eat ackee any day, all day. I can sell fish. Just had some yesterday or day before too. But remember to um, be careful how you buy. Oh, you buy ackee for the ackee must not, must be open naturally, and it must not um, it must look as though somebody took a knife and and slice it. It must not. When ackee is open naturally, it don't the the, the pods don't the, the little the little opening between in the pods is not straight if it looks straight that means somebody took a knife and opened those ackees and that is dangerous that will kill you so be careful how you um how you buy ackees and who you buy ackees from stick to one person who you trust because aki poison can kill and has killed already several children i my daughter, I, I lost a friend um friend um a friend's child is a friend a friend of mine lost her 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 nephew nephew or niece little baby to occupying about three or four years ago and uh, there's a whole string of occupying um that happened couple you know more than once in jamaica you had a whole string so there are five cases i haven't heard of any deaths in manchester but be careful out there while you enjoy you know, make the most of it. Stay safe. Drive careful on the roads, and just give some good iron love to everybody you see, and yell up everybody, right? Enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful Jamaica day. I'm signing off now. I hope you see this. If you see this video and you like it, this live, um, just leave a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe for more. All right. And the next time I'll give you more notice. Take care, everybody.
Auntie Karen from Manchester signing off this live. <laughs>